Hello, we're here playing Jinteki Power Shutdown against Ian. Interesting, because this card could be a monster this game. If he's only one of those Ians that just dirtles for like 10 turns and then suddenly does something. Could make a lot of money from this little messaging. So we will greet our opponent and hope to draw an ice. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Now we can. A, not get siphoned, and B, tax R&D. Uh, so yeah, we're playing two power shutdowns, two Arc of Memories, three Jacksons, and two Archers. The Archers are hard to land, but even when they just tax, they're still pretty good. Yeah. They bait Fems. <coughs> Eat Sharpshooters. And often the fairies are already gone because of power shutdown, so it can be hard for Criminal to deal with them. So we're looking for yeah. some more ice pretty soon. And we can start making a remote snitch. Sure. Is it snitch blackguard? Oh my god. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Draw for ice? Okay, that's good. That's pretty good too. Mm. Do you want to ice on the remote? Yeah, I think I like starting on a remote mm. before he really gets going. If he dirtles in the for sense a while. that he ever does get going, um, it will start feeding him money. But I'm kind of okay with that. The money won't matter if he has no breakers because we trashed all of them. Could be hard for him to get through as well, depending on what he's playing for breakers. If he's playing passport, then nope. Mm, uh, yeah. Well, we can expose it first. Will he jack out? No, he won't. <laughs> I'm gonna res it though. It's only two bucks. We have a hedge fund anyway. And the run. Really curious if we're gonna see Blackguard come out or if it's just a safety first kind of thing. Ooh, central breakers. We may be playing passport, in which case this load field will be a hero. <coughs> do we wanna send this yeah. back or do we wanna score it? Like we probably could score it. Draft. Mm. Giraffe? Yeah, I think we play Giraffe and get our money kick started. And next turn we can play Giraffe again. Show him all the same cards. Have a lot of money. Yeah. He might that. siphon us here, but eh, these things happen. I could have put the Caprice in HQ. I think that's also not a bad play. True. So I'll be kind of sad if we get siphoned here because we're not playing any tag punishment whatsoever. But he doesn't know that. He doesn't <laughs> know that. That's true. <laughs> he probably isn't sure what to think yet about what our deck is. And not all Ian's even play account siphon because some of them have too many connections they don't want to lose. Oh, there's the passport. <coughs> okay. Well. All right. Mm. Subliminal's a hero. Mm. Do we mind showing this archer? We may as well not show it. Mm, yeah, no. We'll show the same thing as before. And that seems good. Let's mm, play subliminal. I don't even know if I want to because I might want to just have five cards in hand. And then mm. if he wants to come in here. This is a total bluff right now, and you can break it for two bucks. Yeah, I, I don't think it's gonna matter too much. I think we'll probably run this turn. So whether we get the money this turn or or next turn, it's gonna come to the same. Yeah, he did run here, so it's gonna be equal. Yeah. 
you gotta continue. Okay, so let's pay for this pup. Drain his economy. I'd love a second ice for this remote because there mm, could still be inside jobs. Inside job. That's what I was thinking. Mm. Even maybe yeah. test run fem could be a thing. Well, with ten influence, more likely not. But he's not paying influence for his breakers, so he's got influence for something. Whether it's going to be keyhole or splashing connections, not entirely sure what he's going to do. Well, the pop's gonna stop inside jobs. Yeah. So we'll put then this out. Put the Caprice in. Then do we want to draw? I don't mind drawing. Yeah, yeah that was good. A bit. If we got an agenda that could have actually been good, because we could put that instead of this. Okay, I'd much rather score a Nisei than this early on. But having three points is okay too. Just don't like sacrificing three point for a. Well, we wouldn't do that. I don't think in any case we would. Like, I wouldn't do it to trash these two. Mm -hmm. It's just whatever. RDI, okay. We're playing <laughs> a fetal, which could be amazing right now. Two shocks are also pretty good. And then a bunch of stuff that he could steal. If he gets the clone retirement, that's gonna suck for us. We've been lucky so far and haven't given those up, but when you do, it's like, uh, I got a bad pub for no reason. Gross project. Oh well, could have been worse. Oh, that's uh, that's worse. That's bad. Yeah, that's not good at all. It's not good at all. And now they're fresh cards. Uh oh. Hmm. Lotus does cost him three bucks to break that. He has zero credits. Yeah. But he needs to get two credits and run here and see two new cards. I don't really want to yeah. take that chance. We can load this up for later. We can hedge or we can draw. Just play hedge. Yeah. And we can double advance next and put something out if we draw. Another ice. It's an interesting deck because we're running 10 centuries and only three of the other kinds. So centuries are kind of hard to deal with depending on what they are. The Grim's going to be pretty good this matchup, I think, until Alias comes out. He may not even run any of these because of fear of fear of a grim. Or roto or whatever. Subliminal. And then <clears throat> do we wanna draw? I would want the triple advance. Mine's all triple advance. The next turn we can have an action left to do something with the next card we draw. Mm -hmm. Or put the Jackson in. Which is also fine. He's kind of dead in the water, having stolen points, and now even when we score this, it's going to be even. Yeah, this is going to be big. This is uh, still pretty safe yeah. with him playing Passport. I don't think he's going to get in here. Reload, which is pretty sweet for code gates. It's like it's our only four power ice, and it's tough for a lot of decks to deal with that aren't, you know, Atman decks. Here's Blackguard. Well, at least he's not doing anything the next ever. <laughs> um, so the Blackguard Archer interaction, we don't have to forfeit it. That was my understanding of the ruling. I'm gonna double check that right away. Uh, 
No. It wasn't the fact yeah, at some point. My understanding so. was that you wouldn't have to. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, we won't triple advance. Again, so we can. Yeah, may as well. Oh, we still have. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. So yeah. let's snitch. We have to res it. Okay, that happened. Eh. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And we're on zero credit. Yeah, not a lot of bad things can happen. This just costs so much. I'm not sure what is econ supposed to be. That's the thing, right? He idea is getting two credits different from this ability, which is not mm -hmm. happening now. It's gonna happen next turn though, but it's gonna be too short to really to do much. <coughs> it's gonna be too late at that point. Mm -hmm. It's in the fact. Let's dig this up. forces them to pay the res cost if able. Do not have to res the archer and pay its res cost because you can decline the additional costs. So it's like with any pity, you don't, you don't have to steal it because you have an additional cost that you can choose to pay or not pay. Um, if it said like paying all costs if able, then it would be forced to res it, but it says by paying its res cost if able. So the cost of this ice is the res cost of four plus the additional cost of the agenda. Fun fact. Would have been quite sad to have to get rid of mm -hmm. this future perfect. Yeah. So I, I, I would have tried to overwrite it with something else if that was the case. And then just, yeah. goodbye, Archer, you're a liability now. Yep, so he's confirmed that's the case. And he's a sad panda. still poke here if he wants to, but that's not going to accomplish anything. Points. Uh, oh, why? Do they want to? Why not? Yeah. I don't see that you can get in. It's safer there than in our hand. Yeah, our hand is not overly safe, so this is pretty sweet. Now he gets money from me in for a brief, brief period. I think this should have cost less than Corroder because right now it's like just much worse than Corroder in most cases. Like even against Hadrian's, you're paying what six? It's one. It's one less than Corroder, so it's not much mm -hmm. of a savings. I guess curtain wall, you save a bit of money. Yeah. 
He's digging away at the R&D. Okay. That costs enough money that I'm fine with that <coughs> happening. And we've already gotten rid of the, um, the three-pointers of the deck, so... Shocks, mm -hmm. fetals, other mean things await him. Here's a shock. We're getting lucky today with these shocks. They're just popping up and, and being obnoxious. Oh, it can't be a fetal again. That would be insane. No, okay, it's nothing. HQ interface is gone. Meh. That's a shock. Uh, probably click for credit, yeah. He runs again, we can uh, shuffle three non agendas in the deck. And then we score this out and most likely win unless he gets something to deal with this Lotus Field. You already saw the top, the next top card, so it would just be yes. extra one access. Just do one so access. It's not really worth shuffling. Yeah, that's true. Maybe he'll run it anyway, just to. Uh, no, he won't run it. That'd be silly. Probably just looking at his deck and thinking, mm. why did I pay $11 yeah. for, <laughs> for Black <the> Art? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this is really a good console at $6. Yeah, 11 11 is just way out there. Yeah, he can have a single access. That's yep. pretty okay. He can't possibly yeah, win off that single not. access because he's only at three points. With two cards in hand. And one dollar. <laughs> he's just desperate. He's like, I need to yeah. not. Yeah. So, quite handily beating this snitch black guard, which just costs too much money to do things. And him not able to ever run your. Remote. Yeah. And this isn't. Yeah, there's issues with these breakers. Like, Passport always costs a dollar, so you can have. Save some money there, but Breach is not that good. I think he needs to look into Logos instead. Logos is actually not that bad when you're playing this kind of long game. And it only costs 4 instead of 11, so. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.